Okay, good morning guys, welcome to day three of week eight of the Guildford City Fitness live stream. Thanks for being here, as always, lovely, sunny Wednesday morning uh, in the UK. Um, what's been going on? It's Wednesday, so we're halfway through the week, well done for making it this far. And um, tonight I'm going to plug, make sure that you watch Kate's talk at six o'clock and make sure you go and watch Charlie's talk. I'll touch on that at the end, but I'm going to say it now so I don't forget. Make sure your warm-up area is clear for Simon Says. And make sure you have a drink as usual. Switch sides. So it saves Dad having to do this to the camera. I know it's hard. Yeah. Puts a lot of strain on me. Well, it's more time talking to you lot. Um, um, so yeah, we're going to start the warm-up with... Uh, Doors to press and sit back and then reverse lunge and rotate. So, morning from Cara, Harry and Charlie. Cara, Harry and Charlie. Thanks for being the first three. Uh, morning from Ella and Jack. Manon's just come back from a run. You must be getting faster, Manon, because you're getting quicker. Uh, closer to eight every day. <laughs> uh, morning from Manon, Maddie, Ella and Jack. <laughs> Come on, Ella, Maddie, and Jack. Are you feeling good today, guys? I'll just say what we're doing next. Lunge and rotate. So start up. So it's six lunges and then six rotations. Ella and Jack, they said, just come back from a run. Everyone's doing these morning runs now. Yeah. You're going to be monsters when we go back. Okay. <laughs> morning from Edith and Sam, Danny and Sophia, Scarlett and B. Uh, Morgan and Phoebe. The too quick they're coming too in. Quick. So, yeah. Morning uh, from Pranas and Luke. I've been bowled over there. Just say morning everyone. Morning everyone. There you go. Um uh, uh, uh looking at the wrong day. Walk out into leg swing. So make sure you have good comfy shorts. I had time to change while I was napping. Okay. <laughs> so round your back if you want, so make sure your legs are straight. Even if, so walkouts, even if you can't touch the floor, that's fine because you're still going to stretch your hamstrings. The morning walkout. from Kira, morning from Hannah. I'm still in my PJs this morning. Getting up was hard work. Who's that? Uh, Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> oh, Hannah, I wish I had Guildford City pajamas sometimes. <laughs> morning from Grace, hi to Pip Squeak. Um, morning from Nancy, morning from Megan and Zach. Nancy, Megan, and Zach. Um, yeah, we do keep trying to see whether Pip Squeak's awake so we can show you. But she only wakes up for the older video. Yeah. Um, leg swing. Try and get your ankle joint past your hip. So I'm going to rip shorts if I try and do it. But six. Backwards and forwards on the first leg. I can do it, but I ran a little bit. I got up on my heel. Uh, morning, Jordan and Demi from Tegan. Morning, Hi, Tegan. Tegan. Uh, no morning run for the Matthews family today. Ooh. That was meant to be a question, not a uh, statement. I <laughs> yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't very know. accusatory. <laughs> like, oh, so you did fancy run this morning. <laughs> I certainly wouldn't do it. No. If I did, I'd be far less clear. You know, I wouldn't say I'm coherent most mornings on this, but I'd be I, even less coherent. I could get up early and do a spin session, I just couldn't do a run. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I'll keep looking at the wrong morning again. Uh, leg swings at IYTW and Burpee. So, I was going to put my face on the foam roller, but it's way too high. So, IYTW, three of each, two seconds out. Two. Hit the wall. Ah. Um, good morning, Jordan, from Scarlett and Michael. We slept in. Oh, lucky you. Oh, sorry for some. <laughs> to make sure, guys, you were reaching with the bottom of your shoulder blade. So all that motion, you're trying to initiate it with that bit, that bone there, or that part of that bone, rather than just reaching out with your fingers, because you'll feel way less work being done here. Um, obviously, you guys must have needed it. Like with it's been a pretty tough week so far, I'd say. Um, and then, therapies. Nicholas Brooks says, morning all. And then, How you doing, Nick? we've got, is it Simon Says, being game or animal movements from the nuns? Simon Says. Okay, anyway, burpee guys, make sure you get four of them done. I might forgo it. 
I really do. Um, hi Jordan, sorry we're a bit late from Robin and Jamie. That's okay. That's all right, <laughs> That this was isn't... a very, like... I don't worry about it. <laughs> Stupid burpees. <laughs> but, yeah, I love that they're still in the habit. Mm -hmm. SSP rules are if you're late, come in and say sorry, and the reason is a bit different oh. in the video. Um, it's, yeah, you can't blame the, uh, the A31. No. Um, right, Simon says, um, it can be up to me or Demi or the comments. <laughs> what about card game? Uh, we did that the other day, didn't we? We did. So... We could do card game again, but we've got to type it in. Well, Simon says, if we think, if people want to see card game, they can force it in the comments. Anyway, three, two, one, go. Yeah, or they can always tell you how many movements to be. So. Okay, so Simon says sit down and then stand up. Simon says stand up. <laughs> Simon says sing Baby Shark while jumping up and down. Don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. And do shark, do, 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 do. any movement you can remember or okay, make Simon up some star jump. <laughs> well, he did a little bit of it for you, Cara. Okay, Simon says jog. <laughs> jump. Simon says, animal movement. Simon says, crab walk. Well, I'm running out of crab movements for tomorrow. One to you both, slightly late, but at least the internet is working this morning okay. from Zach. Simon says, scissor, scissor jump. Oh. I don't think that's what they're called, someone correct me. Simon says, hamster walk. Relax, hamster walk. I could do a sign that says, hamster sand, like sand bath roll. Yeah. If you've ever seen a hamster in a sand bath, they just spin over really fast. It's Three, so cute. two, one, go. Simon says 10 press ups. That would take up most of the video. All right, Simon says do a press up. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are hilarious. Okay, Simon says string bean. Simon says baked bean. Simon says string bean. That sounds like more than two. Okay, Simon says okay. star jumps. Simon says squat. Simon says jump. Simon says sit down. Stand up. Simon says splatter kicks. Simon. Oh. Well, I mean, all right, Simon. <laughs> Simon says I'm getting a lot of beans coming in. Nope. Uh, Simon says cluck and run around like a chicken. <laughs> That's an animal movement. I'll do that tomorrow. Simon says, Simon play says, the bean game. No. Nope. <laughs> Simon says, uh, backstroke skipping. Simon says, move like a cow, then roll across the floor, then try and swim on land, then yeah, pretend nice. to be a chicken from Grace. Those are animal movements, guys. <laughs> you That's know, tomorrow's warm up. You know they're going to uh, get you to do all that tomorrow, right? That's fine, but it'll be on animal movement day, not Simon Says Day. Um... Simon says burpee. I can't swim in water, let alone on, on land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Part one. Um, <laughs> Yay, you said you'd do it tomorrow. Get ready to be a chicken. I don't know, I don't know why to wait from anxiety though. Like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, Wednesday session. So frog stands, sky sit ups, and airplanes. So. Morning from Eleanor. Make sure you're ready to go. It's a moment to Morning, Eleanor. Okay. A fat stack of books for me. I'm trying more of these frog stands. I love how animal movements have turned into animal noises and animal. Like an idiot on camera. <laughs> right. Yeah. Frog stand in three, two, one, go. We'll be so close to starting on time. Simon says, pick the Joker card. <laughs> Simon says, 10 double dead bugs. Okay. Nope. Cushion if you're doing frog stands, guys. Supervision if you're doing wall walks, etc. 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 Feet on the wall, feet on some books. Helps keep your hips a bit higher and over the top. So you're focusing more on shoulder stability. <sighs> Not a good day for that. Now relax. Okay, then you're into 
Sky sit ups. In two, one, go. So feet elevated. I still have to cheat with my feet under the under the sofa. But make sure so if you're getting tired and you feel your hip flexors working, so like if you feel them doing running, um, go back to the ground and then pull yourself up using the muscles below your belly button. It's much easier and you don't want to get in the habit of having your hip flexors kick in every time you try and uh, do a movement like this. Two, one, relax. Okay, and then finish off round one with uh, airplanes. In two, one, go. So single leg RDL, and then to turn your hip up. Control. It's another verbal crunch when a co coach says, you know, slow and controlled, because the point is if you're doing it slow, you should be able to control it. But if you do it slow, you can't do it without control. Okay, so it's sides. So push your foot through the floor, reach your other heel back behind you. And relax. It felt easier. Right. So back to your frog stands. Let's try and walk on those. For sure. Do a little wall holds and wall walks to finish off. Whew. Right, 15 seconds left to have a drink. So, the other day I told my dad I think normal sit ups are one of the easiest exercises out of them all. So he made me do a hundred in a row to prove my point. Go. <laughs> I have now officially changed my mind. They're hard from Kara. Yes, they are. <laughs> I think that's one of my favorite sentiments from an athlete. Mm -hmm. When they tell you something's easy, and it just means they were clever enough to find an exploit. There's always a way to make it more challenging. So breaking this one up, if you're doing a wall hold, get yourself up into an incline, walk up the wall, hold for 10 seconds and then relax. 10-ish seconds. So you're focusing on pushing your hands through the floor and extending your toes. And relax. Whew. To make sure as you do that, your hips don't sink up. Don't rise, sorry. Keep them between your wrists and your toes. And then sky sit up, so sky sit up, your feet are up off the floor. In two, one, go. I just have to keep my feet low because I can't do them. But if I show you me trying to do a sky sit up, can't get anywhere. But if you have your feet hooked under something, so for younger ones that maybe can't do them yet, or people like me that have got more body weight above my hips, you come up slowly. Keep your back straight so you're pulling with this part and then fall down slowly. If you find your back starts to round, stop. If you start to feel you're burning in your hips, stop. Just try and keep the whole thing uh, relax, just in your lower abs. Even if that means you're on airplanes next, you just stop from here, fall down, and then crawl your way back to the top position. Go! So airplane, use the wall if you have to. You can start practicing them without that straight leg, but the problem then is if you kick your foot over to the side behind you, it's better to stick with nailing that single leg RDL. So if you need to practice this movement, take this time to capitalize on that. So you balance coordination, stability, but also stability coming from the inside of your muscle. Everything around your hip joint, switch sides, it's having to work hard to keep you upright. And relax. 
there might be more more walk on the other side we get carried away so you might feel a bit of a pull inside your leg that's fine it's probably a good thing because you'll start to develop stability and it'll improve uh, the strength of your kick if you're more stable okay so back into frog stand in three two one go okay so i'm gonna go for wall walks this time so i'm gonna go all the way up Ten seconds left. <sighs> Drop my stomach in the middle of that. Shouldn't have happened. So make sure you're pushing for as, as long as you can and relax. So if you're in that long body position, um, or if you want, look up Tom, look up Tom Holland's uh, T-shirt wall stand challenge. Might be worth a go for some of you. And then three, two, one. Let's go. Sit up. Oh, I once did a hundred push-ups. And went purple at school. Purple? Yeah. I can imagine you did 100 push ups yeah. in a row. With from Fieldry. I don't even want to imagine what I'd feel or look like for the 100 of those in a row. I think I'd probably actually be sick. I mean, I know, uh, to be honest, I don't want to glorify it by talking about it, but I know someone who did 1,000 um, is at a competition, but. After a competition, but then it just caused massive issues after the fact because they were too injured to keep training. Okay. It started affecting the training sessions. Relax. Yep. Okay, then airplane. Three, two, one, go. It wasn't a thousand in a row, it was a thousand in 24 hours or something. But it still worked out to be more than his shoulder could handle. See, on this side, just improving way quicker than the other one, and that's okay. If you find you're in the same position, switch sides. Ooh. Eleanor says the worst ones are a hundred burpees with a push up. Oh, yeah. Who would make you do that? I've never once, in all my time. Tell people to do burpees with a push up. Relax. In one of the challenges, we worked out that I did 186 press ups and I was so tired. Oh. I could barely. Uh, I could barely. Oh, it's got cut off. Did it? No, like uh, they pressed send before. Oh, what? Yeah. It says, I could barely. Sorry. Push up and pull over and dip. I'm going to have to use books for pull over again. Duh. Make sure you have a school bag ready to go with pullovers. And then you've got the table ready for dips. Uh, to finish it, I could barely walk. <laughs> from push ups? From Robin, yes. Uh, uh, from press ups. Hmm. She did 186 and was so tired, like in general. Jeez. Oh, yeah, I'll put, bur I'll put burpees and push ups in the same session, but burpees yeah. with a push up, it's just oh, pick a lane. Which one do you want to do? Yeah. Okay. Are we good to go? Make sure you've had a drink, you enjoyed your one minute off, because we're back into it now with normal push-ups. In three, two, one, go. My dogs are surrounding me whilst doing the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Are they trying to push you over? <laughs> My dog definitely would have pushed me over. Oh. Well, the cats just want to get fed. Yeah. Push-ups, if you're changing stance, avoid the narrow ones because you're going to be doing dips and you want to make sure your triceps are as fresh as they can be. So go wide and go narrow. No, go wide and normal. My dog used to, when I went running, um, she'd run alongside me and then she'd try and, and grab my hand with her paw, so that uh, with her mouth, so it was like we were running holding... Hands. Oh, gee. Yeah. Okay, pullovers in two, one, go. 
Got it. Oh man, this all feels good today. No shoulder clip, so if you find it, your shoulder feels like it's slipping or catching, get to that point so that your meter's there. A couple of seconds hold, back up to the top, go a little bit further. As you're doing this, lots of core engagement. So I'm not just on my back with that gap closed, I'm squeezing. And then you're going to relax in a few more seconds, time for one more rep. And stop there. Then you've got dips. Oh. Circuit table, and we're going in two, one, now. So elbows facing behind you. You can control your range so it doesn't feel comfortable. Just control the range and pause. So today my left elbow's warming up into it. So I'm gonna go, about, it looks like about half, feels like about halfway. Right shoulder's clicking a little bit. It's not painful, but so we're doing some work, treat round one as a warm up. And then stop in two, one, relax. So again, I'm not trying to make excuses, but I'm just narrating. There's a little bit of clicking and popping, but you still do the reps without that. And then round two is probably gonna feel a lot better. Round two always feels better. So we'll, that I could put on a t-shirt. Second reps always the best. Okay, then you're back into push-ups. So a little double header of pushing. I prefer my gym t-shirt. In three, two, one, go. Which one's that? It says everything hurts and I'm dying. Uh-huh. Well, she definitely come up with her own mm-hmm. apparel line. Okay, I'm going to do depths of push-ups. So I quite like them now. Hands up wide, hands on book, and then up on books. So make sure you don't overextend your elbows if you're doing these. This chair is extra squeaky today. That chair. Okay, last few seconds. And relax. It's pullovers. In two, one, go. Hold the bottom and then pull back. So think about when you put the books over your head, pulling your elbows forward with your lats. Almost like you're pulling off the ceiling as the bottom of the pole. And you want to use these muscles here. Kind of like doing pull ups or rows. Um, Luke asks, can I use pillows instead of books because they're all downstairs? Um, you could, Luke, as long as it's challenging you in some way. Okay, uh, relax. Move around a little bit. And Eleanor asks, where are your colourful socks are? I think they're in the wash. In the they? wash. I mean, there are three pairs of those socks somewhere. Two, one, go. Wait, no. There are no pairs. They came in a box. It was six odd socks in a box. Can't remember where they came from. As a Christmas present, I think it might have came from Game. Um, I think they were called Game Over. But I was just looking up something for the like bean design that I'm doing, and it said baked beans on toast is where you have to lie on the floor and stretch your legs and arms as far away from each other as possible. <laughs> okay. Last few seconds. Two, one. Relax. Stability off. One more round. Baked beans on toast. Yeah, it's quite a cool one. That'd be a different one though, wouldn't it? Because baked beans. Yeah, so then you've got baked beans on toast. Ooh. Okay. 
What do you guys think? Oh, you can, oh we start garnishing the beans. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, and go. Round three. I'm just going to stick these deficits because I actually quite like them. They're harder, but you got a lot of work done with your chest. I strongly recommend you trying them. <laughs> Goes on to a jelly bean. A jelly bean? Yeah, where you wobble like jelly. <laughs> I want you all love to see me do that. There's a whole list of different things that you can do. Oh, give it a go, guys. Last few seconds. Uh, another one of them is the Mr. Bean. Relax. Where you walk around with a puzzled or vacant expression muttering under your breath. Mr. Bean would be like that, wouldn't it, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. I think we go a bit far removed from the actual beans, though. Yeah. Pull over in two, one, and go. Stand on your tiptoes and make yourself as tall and thin as possible. We could do that and then spin on the spot, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like a sort of standing streamline. Ooh. So the way to make this more challenging with less weight, like I said, hands far away, and then pull. Sort of like I said with sit up. Use your lower abs here. You want to pull down. Using that muscle there. <laughs> and relax. Congratulations, Jelly Bean, you're in. <laughs> That's the one. Survey says. And dips to finish off. In three, two, one, go. I well, we could have finished a minute ago, but I've been getting caught and distracted. Sorry. <sighs> it's fine. Make sure you push at the top. So, like, that's not the top of the rack. That is, drive your hands down towards the floor. Keep your back straight. So if you can see round three just looks a lot more, there's more depth. Arms are warm, wrists are warm, shoulders are warm. Last few seconds. Two, one, and stop. Okay. Session done. When's out the way, guys. Really great job today. Here's one for Christmas time. It's called Santa's Bean. Santa Bean. And you have to walk around wobbling your tummy and going ho ho ho. <laughs> well, we should have put that in all week one. Yeah. Ooh, right. So as requested, feel free to challenge because I, 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 uh, I don't want people thinking that the first suggestion I take is gospel. But I like the idea of alternating. So now you'll have one day where I'm covering static, one day where I'm rolling. But that doesn't mean that you can't ask a question about the other recovery. So if you want to, if I'm doing a roll and you say, how can I do this statically? I will answer the question. So foam rolling today. Oh, remember, straight arms are easier. Can I love the jelly bean idea as well? Oh no. Yeah. It looks like Jelly Bean is in. I'm going to have to walk on that today. And straight arms, lots of rolling. So as I'm walking my way up, I'm trying to make small circles. Um, thank you, Jordan. Great session. Can't wait for the next one. And so can these count as animal movements because I really want to see this Santa Bean, etc. being demonstrated for us from Jordan. Santa's not an animal. <laughs> for us, Jordan, from Cara. We can, we can do it on a Friday for oh, bean day. Wait, tomorrow's aerobic. Yeah. So yeah, I guess you can fit it in during the aerobic. Skipping part of the set. Oh yeah, yeah. So straight arms, when you need to roll down, you bring your hands towards you and then you move your knee away. Thanks Jordan for another great session from Elena. You're welcome Elena. Uh, so, and then to make those small circles, you just do that. So toes are on the floor, just roll your ankle around and your quad will move too. It's actually quite a nice way to start easing your leg into the roll. Um, 
then you've got hamstrings, which means floss. Um, test it with strength leg raise. Oh, it doesn't work there. Shorts get in the way a bit, but. Like I said, you can try and lift yourself up off the floor a little bit. Uh, thank you both so, so much. I really do appreciate your sessions from Maddie. Thank you're, you're welcome, Maddie. More than welcome. Absolutely more than welcome. Ah! So one leg in the roller at a time, like I said with the quads. If you go both legs on and just do this, you might trick um, a non-observant person, but it ain't getting past me. One leg on, try and bend your knee, lift it, pull yourself onto the roller, and then recheck your leg raise before you move on. Even if it just feels better, I felt a lot better than if they do a lot either. Um, yeah. On to hip. So, I don't think I've shown you guys before, but piriformis. So, pick one hip, feet on the floor, hands on the floor, um, let your knee fall down to the side, and then start trying to move it around. So, I've got both my hands on the ground, and one foot sort of nice and stable, and then move it around. If you don't feel anything happening, Try to readjust a little bit. But thank you. If you don't feel that. Um, that's come through from Dodridge. Oh, you're welcome, Tom. Thank you. Uh, thank you both from Edith. Thank you, Jordan, so much for these sessions during this difficult time from Harry. You're welcome, Harry. And by the way, can I say, Harry, 21 minute plank, verified by his dad. That's an obscene. It's so cool. It was better than any numbers I saw from any of the seniors yesterday. So absolutely well done to you. Very proud coaching team. Okay, switch sides, that was way too long. Thank you both, great start to the day from B. You're welcome B, have a good one. So to make this one more challenging, so hands feet on the floor, I'm on my right side, so right foot off the ground. To make it harder, take your left hand off the floor. So I've still got my right hand and left foot. Left hand on the roller, and then jiggle it while you move your foot around. Thank you so much Jordan and Demi from Grace. You're welcome Grace, have a good one. So I'm not just lounging, but if you want to make it more challenging, try and take both your feet off the floor and jiggle. So I'm not using my shoulder because you lose stability. Use your other hand. Oh. And relax, your glutes will thank you. But I was doing a lot of stamping there to make it obvious. People just fall off because it's because it looks silly. But if you control yourself properly, you're gonna gain a lot. You recover so much better. And lats. Thank you, George and from Luke. You're welcome, Luke. Have fun at school. If that's where you're heading off to. So another thing you can try and do, put your hands around the back of your head. And if you know that standing up stretch you do, where you jiggle side to side, same thing here. So it's actually your lats doing the movement. Uh, and you core. Oh, go on. <laughs> thank you very much from Robin and Jamie. See you tomorrow. As always, amazing session. Loved it. Feel ready for the day. Thank you so much, Demi and Jordan from Cara. Oh, you're welcome, girls. Uh, as always, it's your engagement that brings it to life. So keep it coming. The sessions will get very sad very quickly without you lot uh, participating the way you do. So other side. So your hands across chest, even. Uh, thank you for a great session from Panas. You're welcome, Panas. Good to hear from you. So again, I'm not hands are up off the floor. So I normally talk about this and then use your hand to jiggle, but if you manipulate your uh, your lats using your core, you can even get that wood out. It again becomes more passive, so it's like someone else is doing the work for you. 
So, without the roller, I was just doing this, and that was it. Like, lean to the side. Oh, I feel amazing now. Okay, and then chest. Much better if you've got a massage ball. So, I don't have a tennis ball even, I don't think. Uh, just place it on your chest. Make circles with your elbow. Um, but if you're not, make a cross. So, if you're standing up here, arm out in a Y. Make a cross shape with your lat. X marks the spot. Oh. Thank you so much for this amazing session from Danny and Sophia. Thank you, Jordan, from Morgan and Phoebe. You're welcome, Morgan and Phoebe. So this one here, I'm kind of replicating the normal static stretch. Arms up over my head. So if you get into a side plank position, from there you just tip the hips back a bit. And then just flop your arm over the top. Turn into the floor. And again, just jiggle your shoulder around. And then use your other hand on the roller. So when I say jiggle, it's deliberate. So I'm just shrugging again. Teenagers are very good at that. Shrugging up and down, backwards and forwards. So you're starting to find which ranges of motion you find a bit awkward. So again, find that cross shape. Find the roller and the side plank. Hits back a bit. And then turn into it. If you don't feel it uh, as well as you think you should, just move your arm further away. Not stretch your chest out. Again, if it's too painful, just straighten. Use your other hand to push you up a little bit. And then you've got some more support. Ooh, relax. So that one took a little bit longer because I think Foam rolling does warrant that little bit of extra explanation. Because if you don't know what's going on, it just looks like I'm flopping around on it. And I wouldn't waste your time that way. Um, Challenge wise, you've got the jump testing. So it's ownership, hashtag ownership. Let us know your scores. Um, I'll take a seat. So, scores, again, hopefully you're finding some use from them in terms of monitoring how well you're getting on. Mine are definitely a bit better today. Don't know why, sometimes you won't know why. You might so you might sleep worse, you might uh, have something stressing you and you'll just perform a little bit better. So that's why it's important to track these things. So what you don't want is to think you're having a good day, just smash the session and then suffer for the rest of the week. So if you're having a good one, try and keep that even keel running through. Um, if you look at the Facebook tonight, you've got a talk from Kate. So we're going to have another very valuable session, which if you guys want, I'll take some questions from, um, and we can have a quiz on it during the week, and then we came up with some sort of system where we'll, yeah, we'll let you nominate something for me to do if you want, and I might ask coaches to see if they want me to fit swimming bits in there as well. Um, and as well, you've got another club captain talk. So this time you've got Charlie Trotman talking through uh, times where he's had to walk through plateaus and performance. Especially for the guys at your age, I think one of the saddest things to see is when people have success at county and then they go to regionals and do really well. But as you, if you aspire to want to reach that upper, upper echelon of, of the sport, some of you might come across plateaus where you get to a certain age and all of a sudden you just don't seem to be able to compete as well as you used to. Um, that's why, as a club, we're so invested in educating you. So to hear it from Someone like Charlie, who's really humble in himself, commits to his training really hard, um, and has been with the club for most of his life. He's got some really valuable uh, lessons to impart to you, so please pay attention to him um, and buy into what he's trying to tell you, because at some point or another, you might experience a plateau, um, and it's always going to mean more coming from a fellow swimmer than it is from a coach who, who hasn't necessarily been there. But we are always here to help and support, so it might help guide some of the questions you have. So even if the swimmers don't want to watch it, parents, I'd encourage you to have a look at that. Um, and let us know what you think that's going to do it for me for today um, I hope you all had fun um, thank you for watching live if you haven't had a chance catch up later on 
And then from everyone else at Guildford City, we want you to have a nice day. Thank you very much.